Welcome back, movie people, and rather say TV people this time, because we're talking about Obi-Wan, I Have the High Ground Kenobi. Yes, that's right. We're talking about the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series that came out on Disney+. Plus. A little behind on this, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. And I got, you have to overlook, I got makeup from doing the Batman videos, but... Yes, here today I have with me another super Star Wars nerd, uh, fellow Jedi Master, and Obi-Wan Kenobi fan. Lana Reagan. Yep. And we also have joining us Obi-Wan Funkinobi. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I have the bobblehead of the actual, from the show, not the, you know, Clone Wars bobblehead. This is the Obi-Wan Kenobi original TV series. Funko. So, yeah, we got London, me, and Obi-Wan Kenobi Fununk Obi. <laughs> we'll set him right there. So, yeah, Obi-Wan Kenobi originally was supposed to be a film. You know, it was supposed to be a spinoff solo film with Ewan McGregor coming back. But they kind of said, you know what, let's do a series and kind of make it episodic and uh, go with that. The original himself, Ewan McGregor, coming back as a uh, older, grizzled, sort of uh, world-weary and broken-down Jedi Master Obi-Wan himself, because this takes place after Revenge of the Sith uh, and his battle with his young apprentice Obi. I mean, uh, Anakin Skywalker and the Empire sort of taking over and the destruction of the Jedi Order. So he is in a lowly low spot, like bottom of the barrel cutting up alien critter meat for a living living in a cave down by the river i don't know and there was no river it's just a bunch of sand but he living in a cave he's on his low bottom low rung but he is called back into action by um senator organa which comes back as, uh, I think Jimmy Smith, he came back and played his character from the original uh, as Senator Organa. And uh, what happens is this uh, new order of Siths, which is uh, the Inquisitors, have kind of hired out these uh, mercs to kidnap a young Princess Leia. And so... Obi-Wan's called back into action and face his fears of letting his Jedi powers out and about because they are being hunted like Salem witches, uh, the Jedis are. So he's a little scared of using it. So he, he the first couple of episodes, he tends to use the blaster more. Uh, and I know what you're saying from Revenge of the Sith when he said, how uncivilized. Um, but yes, he's using a blaster instead of a saber. Uh, but yeah, it's a good show. We even get a rematch. We actually get two rematches, uh, from Obi-Wan and Anakin, which is now fully fledged, pledged, fledged, whatever you want to call it, to the dark side as Darth Vader serving the Emperor. So we get that rematch. And I must say, the first actual interaction and rematch between the two characters is a little bit on the lackluster side because the scene itself is filmed at night and it's just so freaking dark i mean i know what they're going for they want you to kind of be able to see nothing but lightsaber light but you really don't get to see the characters and so i was a little let down on the first rematch but the second rematch when uh obi-wan has kind of came back around and got his mojo back it is freaking fantastic it is a duel of fates see what i did there for the ages it's a good rematch good fight um i'll be one back in full form and what's cool is darth vader is played by hayden christensen which was anakin from the prequel film so he's back but it is the voice of james earl jones it's just hayden christensen is in the suit and um uh, he even films a few flashback episodes as Anakin, and toward the end, he gets his, no, no spoilers, but he gets his helmet kind of taken off, and you see a little bit of Anakin right in here, so 
Uh, really cool to have Hayden Christensen, Christensen back, uh, however you pronounce it, and of course Ewan McGregor. I liked it because we get to kind of see a a broken sort of Obi Wan that is kind of kind of crawling his way out of the of a uh, self isolation pit, so to say. So he's kind of got to redeem himself, and he's got to gain all his strength back because. He hadn't been a Jedi in a long time. He hadn't used the Force. Um, doesn't really remember how to use the Force, per se. Um, or will to Saber. So he kind of gets his butt handed to him in the first fight. But it works really good. I, like I said, I like the whole old man, uh, almost like Logan feel to it. Because he's, he, you know, he's, he's out of shape, but he has to get whipped back into shape. And find something to, something to fight for again. So it works really well. If you're a fan of the prequels, you'll love this one. If you're a fan of any Star Wars trilogy, you'll really you'll like it because they kind of connect the two, um, the two trilogies together. And uh, what's really interesting is you kind of see how you know I think it's in A New Hope. We remember Leia sending a message to old Obi-Wan, so we kind of learn how she gets acquainted with the old Jedi Master. And uh, so there's a little story there. He kind of helps her along and rescues her. And, and the I don't even know the name of the, the, the child that plays young Leia, but she she's a, she's a little firecracker. She's a hoot to watch. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on it. What did you think about the show? Um, I like their fighting. You like the fighting, right? And then, who was your favorite character from Obi Wan Kenobi? Ray. Well, Ray wasn't in this one. Remember, it's just Obi Wan and Leia. Oh, uh, Ray. You like Leia's character? So, how many thumbs up would you give Obi Wan Kenobi series? Just one? What about two? You give two fingers and a thumb. <laughs> two thumbs. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you, you love Star Wars though, don't you? So if you're a Star Wars fan, would you recommend Obi-Wan Kenobi to to the folks out there? All right, so what you want to add to it? Anything else? Nothing else? All right, so folks, you get two thumbs from London, you get two thumbs from me. Uh, it's on Disney Plus, so if you got a subscription, check it out. It's, you know, they got... It's not a lot of episodes, but it's good. They hadn't been anywhere on a season two, so we kind of don't know if this is a one-off type season situation deal. If that was to be the case, then they should have went, in my book, with a movie version. I thought it would have been way better. But if we do happen to get another season, then, you know, the series was a good idea. So, yeah, check it out. And may the force be with you from Obi-Wan. Like always, this is my opinion, this is London's opinion, and what we say about opinions are they're like butts. Everybody's got one, and some of them stink. <laughs>